Hey everybody, it's Dean DaCosta Search Theory. We're doing an updated uh, video on my sourcing tool. Uh, source tool is called Level 1 Sourcing Links. Um, you got my little logo up there. I had to put something there. Just having a big white space was like, bleh. So let's go through what it can do. Let's start with search engines. What you can do here is put in one thing you want there. And I'm going to pick on my own name. And that's mainly because I don't want to be showing other people's information very much. So we're going to populate all. You know, it populates down. Now you can pick which search engine you want to search. You can go Google. It'll open up Google with my name. You can get out of it, go back and search, and open one of the others. What makes this cool is it allows you to save time going from one type of search engine to another search engine to another. And you can just boom, 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 rather than copy, paste, boom, copy, paste, boom. And you get the idea. That's what the idea is, save a little bit of time. Next up is email address. Now we're going to pick on my email address because I love picking on mine and populate all again. And you're going to be able to verify, validate email addresses. Let's start with um, first, make sure this is a legit email. Um, we're going to go ahead and do email rep IO. We're going to open it. It automatically populates and it'll run and boom, you'll notice it's a good email and I have a LinkedIn, excuse me, a Twitter uh, account related to it. Good to go. There's a whole bunch of them here. I, have I been pawned? Spy Cloud, Email, Sherlock, P, PS, uh, BDM, Pig. That's a mouthful. Uh, that's them. Spy Talks. Just a bunch of them. Gravatar. But you get the hint. You're going to be able to validate whether an email is legit or not. The next is Facebook. We're not going to get into these. These are just general Facebook uh, ways to search. You do. You might need to be signed in for some of these to work. Twitter, same thing. Uh, Instagram, same thing. LinkedIn, again, says you must be signed in for that to work. Down here, no. Real names. This is where you get to search based on a real name. Now, my name's two words. A lot of times these systems are like, so you got to put it together. So I'm going to put it together. Populate all. We're going to look at two people, one of my favorite search engines. We're going to go down here and boom, there I am right there. And if we were to go in and look at the details, that's my address. Um, all three numbers are connected to me, including one that's unlisted and one that's a cell phone, which is my wife's. Um, if you open it up, mine's there too. Um, down here in email addresses, two of them are definitely me. One was at one point, a long time ago. And then you got other addresses, people related to me. And if anybody looking to find somebody, if you can find somebody related to somebody, you can start backdooring and connecting that. Okay, well, they're related to them. We find more on them and eventually, we'll, yeah, you know how it goes, being a social detective. Next is usernames. Uh, human beings by nature are... Um, are pretty consistent. They use a username one place, they use it another place, and more than likely they also have an email address with it. So this is a way to check. So I use DADC43, and you could just pick one and check to see if it's being used, including a couple of email searches. Telephone numbers, put in telephone numbers, and this will match the telephone number up to whomever. Image searches, hey, you know, sometimes all you add is an image, like off LinkedIn, you pop the URL in here, and it'll try to match the, the uh, match it for you. Document, document searches. This is really cool because most resumes are written in PDF, doc, text, RTF. So you just put in the word like resume, and I'll even add in the word Android and developer, even though I spelled developer wrong. Let's respell that right, developer, and repopulate so it's spelled right. And let's open a PDF. Look at that. Resumes, resumes, love resumes. Pasting sites. Pasting sites are sites that people use temporarily to put information. They can come in real handy. In this case, we're going to open up to a pasting site tool. And all you got to do is put you want. So I like Java developer. And then I'll always put an email in here, like an email domain. Gmail is one of the email domains that most people use. Um, it's actually the biggest in America, so I'm going to punch it and look at all these people who have job development and then email addresses inside the, this piece of information. That makes it so cool. I have gotten a lot of people out of this. Communities, these are what I call lesser known communities. I'm not going to read them all, but you get Reddit, Meetup, Yes, eBay, believe it or not. I, as an experiment, put my resume out there and got a boatload of offers. I just wanted to see if it would work. It did. Uh, locations, this is addresses. Now here comes the first place where you're going to spend a all the time. Bookmark searches. Let's say I want to find a Java developer. Uh, I'm going to push populate and you're going to have any of these places to search. Uh, some of these are pre-constructed ready to rock. So as an example, we will go with Facebook and you'll notice you get in here, you'll see Seattle engineer and Amazon already pre-done. What we're going to do to make this work properly is we're just going to, oops, we're just going to cut out the Java developer. Um, cut and then we're going to come over here and get rid of all of the stuff between the brackets we don't really care if they work in amazon if they're in sale we don't really care any of that if we do then don't cut it just keep what you need punch in java developer push again and there you go 
Java developers. Now, keep in mind, most people on Facebook don't say Java developer, even though there's over 4,000. You're better off just putting developer and, con and going after a company that's a Java company like Amazon. But that's an example. So you have X-Ray into Zoom, Rocket Reach, Facebook, Weary Soror, Instagram, Hacker, Rank, Attendees, all the way down to Schedule.com, and that's mainly for conferences. CSEs, these are all custom search engines. Um, you know, I'm going to put in the word Java and populate all. They populate. You pick where you want to search. You want Instagram, there's an Instagram. You want diversity, there's diversity. You want um, pretty general document finding, whatever you want. They're all right here. Pick one. This is direct links to tools that can help you, whether it be uh, SeekOut, HireEZ, Human Predictions, Heartbeat, uh, Company.com, uh, Dropbox, Levels, which is where you can find salary information and level information. Just direct links so you don't have to be figuring out where they're at, email validators, all sorts of stuff. And then word lookups. This is just in case you don't know what a word means. Like, let's let's pick on Java, even though everybody knows what it means. We're going to do tech terms, because Java is a tech term, and there's the definition of Java. What's cool about it is you see these file extensions things. You can search on those. JRE you can search on. You get some in pretty interesting information that might even help you search a little bit more and give you some other things to search on. Um, so just thought I'd let you know that. So that's the tool. And uh, to install it, all you're going to do is go to the SSAR page, to this link download both the instructions on as well as the zip file read the instructions and the instructions will tell you You open the zip file into a folder you pick the start one open it up which is basically what this is right here and bookmark it and then that's it leave it alone it's there forever um, if there are updates those updates will be on the Facebook page under SourceCon. I will if I lift if I do updates I don't do updates on this particular tool very often it's about once a quarter you'll see them maybe more often it depends on how much time I have it is you know there's a decent amount of programming behind it um, but it's there and that's the tool that's what it does it basically can do anything it can find people it can find email addresses it can find them by name find them by username find them by email telephones whatever you want. It's an all-encompassing, I call it sourcing links, it's an OSINT tool, but let's get real, open source intelligence is all about finding information on people, which is what we do, which is sourcing, so there you go. That's it. My name is Dean DaCosta, The Search Authority, and this is Level 1 Sourcing Links. May the source be with you.